One for the Money has been on my to watch list for quite a while because Debbie Reynolds is in it. She's not in it too much and I kind of got the sense that that was the case before I saw it so I kept putting it off but I'm running out of Debbie Reynolds films and having now watched it I can say the Debbie Reynolds fan in me really liked her role in this. Over the kind of last 10 years or so of her life she got into a pattern of playing rather kooky, slightly fascinating grandmother type characters and um, that's what she plays here. Absolutely love the character. And I won't say any more about Debbie Reynolds in this, to be honest, because that's basically all I have. Um, she's not in it too much, loved her in it, was worth watching it for her. Was the film otherwise worth it if she wasn't in it? I would say it's not too bad, it's not amazing. There are definitely things that didn't work for me, and I will speak more about those without spoilers, because I do recommend it enough, but I wouldn't say make it the next film you watch. This was released originally in 2012. It's directed by Julianne Robinson with a screenplay by Liz Brixius, Karen Ray and Stacey Sherman. And we have Catherine Hagel playing our protagonist, Stephanie Plum. And I want to say, first of all, I think she's brilliant. I love the character. Very well played. Brilliant acting. Uh, brilliant acting across the board, of course. Um, no complaints there. And I think Stephanie Plum is a pretty fascinating character. She's a great character, but I do feel like her job is a little bit all over the place. And it's like they didn't want to make her, you know, a member of the FBI or a, a detective. They wanted to give her a job that maybe was a little bit more separate. But they wanted her to seem like she was all action, all fighting and all knowing problem solving. And it just doesn't really work. The characteristics don't fit in with the job. And it's like they're trying to make it more than she actually was. She worked for her cousin's bail bond business and she's going after this um, this local cop, um, Morelli, Joseph Morelli, played by Jason O'Mara, um, who she knew romantically in a previous life, if you like. So there's definitely various interests there because she wants to capture him because that's her job, but also because of the former connection and there are bounty hunters getting in her way and causing a lot of problems for her. She has to try and be sneaky and find out information about certain people in order to get the job done. And it just seems like they were trying too hard. Like they were trying to make Stephanie this crime-fighting, villain-busting, gun-wielding... I was going to use the word maniac, but that's not... <laughs> I feel like that word should follow that sentence. But, um, you know, superwoman, if you like. But... It just seemed like they were trying too hard and trying to give her too many things at once and the, the kind of person she was didn't really seem to fit in with everything. I don't know, there was just something about her job that didn't feel like it was completely believable and that mirrored her actions. So that meant that the narrative itself was sometimes hard to get behind because I didn't necessarily believe everything I was watching or believe everything I was being told. So why did I keep watching then? Well, obviously Debbie Reynolds, but also because I did actually really enjoy the on-screen chemistry between Hegel and Omara. I think Stephanie and Morelli worked really well on screen. They had a very fluctuating relationship insofar as sometimes they seemed like they were working together. Sometimes they were trying to get one over, one up on each other. And I wasn't really sure what was happening there. And it, it was it kept me intrigued. I thought it was interesting enough. So there were definitely things in the characters that I liked. But sometimes with Stephanie, I didn't feel like her character was completely convincing. Not the way she was acted. Certainly the way the character was written. As I said, I would recommend it if it sounds like your kind of film. Or if there's anybody in the cast you like or you like the director's other work. If you've never heard of it... And there are no pull factors, nothing catching your attention. Yeah, watch it eventually, but I wouldn't say put it to the top of your to watch list. It's got 5.3 out of 10 on IMDb, which is fair, but not great. And a meta score of 22, which is pretty diabolical. I didn't think it was that bad, but I wouldn't say it was amazing. And also, it is marketed as a comedy crime film I, and an action film. I didn't know that when I started watching it. And as I was watching it, I was thinking, is this... Is this trying to be funny? And then something would happen that was actually quite dark and gritty and it took a really serious turn. And I thought, no, it's not a comedy action film. It is serious. And then something would happen that was meant to be kind of lighthearted and fluffy or flippant. And the tone and the mood just didn't work and it was inconsistent. And 
instead of being an action film with bits of comedy or a crime film with bits of comedy, sometimes it felt like a gritty drama. Sometimes it felt like it was a flippant comedy and it never got the balance right ever. And that's also something that made it kind of uncomfortable to watch because I never knew what I was meant to be feeling. Needless to say, One for the Money is not perfect. There are a lot of flaws. It definitely needed a lot more work or even just a fresh pair of eyes to point out these things. When you're so far into something, you can't always see these things because you see what you think you are creating. But there are definitely things wrong with the character of Stephanie. Well, not the character, but her job and the way her the way she works doesn't quite fit in with the role. Um, and also the, the mood and things just didn't fit right for me. So it's not amazing. Glad I've seen it because I love Debbie Reynolds. Not a film I'll watch again, but if there's something about it that draws you to it, I'd say it's probably worth a watch.